What is the meaning of the word terrorist? Terrorist by definition means a person who causes terror. Whenever a robber sees a policeman, he is terrified. So for the robber, the policeman is a terrorist. I am aware that this word terrorist, it is more commonly used in order to terrorize an innocent human being. And after the 9-11, during the 7-7 bombing, that is in 2005, the London bombing, there was a statement that had become very popular and viral in the media. That all Muslims are not terrorists, but all terrorists are Muslims. And many a times, two different labels are given to the same person for the same activity. For example, more than 60 years back, before India gained its freedom, there were Britishers who were ruling India. And there were certain people who were fighting for the freedom of the country. These people, by the British government, they were called as terrorists. Whereas by us common Indians, they were called as freedom fighters, as patriots. Same people, same activity, but two different labels. If you agree with the view of the British government that the Britishers had come to do trade, they had no right to rule over. If you agree with the view of the British government that the Britishers had come to rule over India, then you would call these people as terrorists. Whereas if you agree with the view of the common Indians that the Britishers had come to do trade, they had no right to rule over us the Britishers had come to do business, they had no right to rule over us, then you would call these people as freedom fighters, as patriots. Same people, same activity, but two different labels. I would like to give another example. During the American Revolution in 1775, the Britishers, they ruled over America. And George Washington, by the British government, he was called as terrorist number one. Later on, when America gets its freedom, George Washington, he becomes the president of USA. Imagine terrorist number one becomes the president of USA. We are the example of Nelson Mandela. When South Africa was ruled by the white apartheid government, Nelson Mandela, he was imprisoned in Robben Island for more than 25 years. And Nelson Mandela, by the white apartheid government, he was called as terrorist number one. Later on, when South Africa gets its freedom and the white apartheid government is thrown out, Nelson Mandela, he gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. Imagine terrorist number one gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. Not that he was bad, then he became good. For the same activity for which he was called as a terrorist, he gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. So here we realize the media, it is very powerful. It can convert black into white, day into night, hero into villain, villain into hero. The media, it is very powerful. Unfortunately, we Muslims, we are very backward as far as media is concerned. Television per se, it is not haram. The social media per se it is not haram. The internet per se it is not haram. But we need to use this social media. We need to use the internet. We need to use the television to convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it. We need to use the social media, whether it be YouTube, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Twitter, whether it be Instagram. We need to use it to convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it. There is virulent propaganda in the international media. The media it is bombarding misinformation about Islam. We Muslims need to use the same media to convey the message of Islam, to remove the misconceptions that are there in the minds of non-Muslims, to spread the beauty of Islam to the non-Muslims, to do dawah to the non-Muslims. So it is very important that we Muslims convey the message of Islam to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it.